TIFU by buying a veteran an Uber. For some context, I work as a closer at a gas station. Only one person works at a time. Last night I was closing and as I'm finishing up this man coming up to the door clearly in distress and crying. I figured someone was hurt as he's literally banging on the door asking for help. So I open the door and ask him if he's alright and if I should call someone for him. He then starts to tell me that he's a veteran and that he just started a job somewhere and they were supposed to drop him off at his house and his phone's dead and he doesn't know where he is and if I could call him an Uber. Now my dad served and had a tough time when he just got out so I felt real sympathetic and they guy was in clear distress so I called him an Uber for $25 and he gave me $20 for it. I go home thinking I did my good dead for the day helping a clearly lost and distressed veteran get home. And then I wake up today to see that Uber went from $20 to $100. I guess he lied and added a stop and then proceeded to throw up in this guy's car. I tried calling my bank and Uber to get rid the charge but the both said there's nothing I can do. Since I authorized the purchase. Now I'm broke poor and literally crying cause now my account is overdrawn and I can't afford to buy. Food till next Friday. TL. DR. Bought a distressed veteran a $25 Uber. Cost me $100 and now I can't afford food till next Friday. You can't add a stop without having the app in front of you on your own device. This means you would have had to add a stop. If Uber added the stop on his behalf this is actually not authorized by you. They owe you a refund. I guess you would be responsible for any puking that caused damage required cleaning though. Pretty much everyone hitting you up at a gas station is a veteran. I had a 70 plus veteran as a customer back when I was a bartender. He was broke until his check came in so I let him write me a personal check that I would hold until he got his money. Well, it bounced. Twice. Ended up costing me $70 over and above. Lesson learned. If $75 is the difference between you being able to buy yourself food or not, you shouldn't be giving some random guy $25. Think about yourself first. In this situation, call a cab and give cash if you have to it's probably not a scam but it is opening yourself to a lot of liability. Veteran. Phone is dead. Have no ride, need gas money. Elaborate explanation, story. It's like it's your first year on earth. How did you not see this scam? By the way I am a Nigerian prince WH needs help getting billions out of the country. If you could just. Sounds like a scam. The guy probably knew the driver and they make money this way. Next time a veteran approaches you ask for ranks and divisions and other military stuff to see it. They are legit. Spoiler. They never are legit. Not a veteran either, lol. When you get on an airplane and they are preparing for takeoff, they go through the safety presentation. The main takeaway in the safety presentation is when the masks drop from the ceiling. You always put your own mask on before assisting someone else. Otherwise you both have a worse chance of survival. If you don't have anything to give, don't give. Nobody is keeping score that you gave a vet $100 you didn't have. But now you are destitute and posting your story about how gullible you are on the internet for strangers to comment on. No good deed goes unpunished. Doesn't the app show where he was dropped off at? I mean, you could go there and see if he will pay for it. Doubtful. No good deed goes unpunished unfortunately. No good deed goes unpunished. I feel bad. But I'm laughing over this. Sounds legit though. The five bucks wouldn't have been much. It was the cleaning fee. 
Your fault for paying for someone else when you don't even have money for yourself. No good deed goes unpunished. Sorry this has happened to you. Hopefully this doesn't dissuade you from charity in the future. Most people are good at heart. And all too often people will take a bad experience as an excuse to not help out others in need. You did a good deed and you should be proud even if you were burned for it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.